600 million people in India are facing a water crisis, building for decades, but it may soon reach a flashpoint. An alarming report by the Niti Aayog has brought the issue under global focus. The Composite Water Management Index report, a first of its kind, a comprehensive study by the Government of India, predicts that day zero is near. 21 major cities will run out of groundwater by 2020, affecting nearly 100 million people. Critical groundwater resources, which account for 40% of our water supply, are being depleted at unsustainable rates. Going by which, 40% of India's population won't have access to clean drinking water by 2030. India currently extracts more groundwater than the United States and China put together. And the groundwater table in India is falling more steeply than any other region in the world. Not just that, 70% of our water is contaminated. Nearly 75% of households do not have drinking water, while 84% of rural homes do not have piped water supply. India currently ranks 120th out of 122 countries on the Water Quality Index, and nearly 200,000 people die every year in India due to lack of access to safe water. The Niti Aayog report also warns that by 2030, India's water demand is projected to be twice the available supply, which would lead to 6% loss of India's GDP. What led to this disaster? Some of the blame lies in uninformed choices. The pain points include few or no restrictions on groundwater extraction, wasteful water consumption, dumping our waste in water bodies and construction on wetlands and near water bodies. Prime Minister Narendra Modi recently formed the Ministry of Jal Shakti to oversee water resource management and announced an ambitious plan to provide piped water to every rural home by 2024. But many fear it won't be enough. Central Water Commission data till June 20th shows 91 nationally monitored basins and reservoirs which are critical for farming, power generation and drinking are running dry. Of these, 59 reservoirs have below normal storage of water, while 11 are completely dry. Maharashtra has the maximum number of reservoirs at 17 and also the highest number of dry ones, 6. Acute lack of thought, planning or action by citizens has aggravated the crisis and the government is just waking up to the problem. There are plenty of solutions but implementation remains the challenge. Water harvesting must be made mandatory. We take water for granted, so we misuse it. The government must put into place water auditing and metering systems to better manage usage. Wastewater recycling is another step forward. Sewage and industrial effluents can be treated and the recycled water can be used for just about any non-portable requirement. Seawater desalination in coastal areas has to be made a major area of focus. The government could involve the private sector to boost investment for such projects. If Swachh Bharat was Prime Minister Modi's biggest civic push in his first term, water has to dominate his agenda in his second term. Our decision makers have to rethink policy because the clock is ticking.